I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who... who actually seems to get it, you know? So... Should we head out? What can I do? Piper. You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Uh, thanks. You too. No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. All right, what's the issue? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister, dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, Maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? The feeling's mutual, Piper. Ain't that the truth? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Sure thing. Just... What you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and... What you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... 
Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you... For being the friend I can count on. I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you, as long as you'll have me. Now, come on, let's hit the road. <laughs> 